Hello, this is Mrs. Richardson, and I am here today with another screencast to help you get ready for the SOL tests. Today we're going to start our Released SOL Questions SOL Review Part 1. In which direction would you travel from Richmond to Alexandria? If you start at Richmond and you go up to Alexandria, when you move from a place up that is north. So our answer would be A, north. Which group established the town of Werowocomico? Werowocomico was the Indian headquarters of the Chief Powhatan. So therefore, this town would have been established by the American Indians. How do we know what life was like for Jamestown settlers? We can study items such as metal tools to learn how they were used. People studying the past best learn about artifacts like these by, and we know that people that did that were called archaeologists, and we've talked about several times that archaeologists dig artifacts. Archaeologists dig artifacts. So therefore, our answer would be C, digging at archaeological sites. Which of these happened last? Settlers learned survival skills from Powhatan and other native people. Native people saw the settlers as invaders taking their land. C, settlers communicated with the native people through Pocahontas. D, native people taught the settlers to plant corn and other crops. We know that when the white settlers arrived, the Indians, first of all, were very inquisitive about them. They came and they watched them and see what they would do. And then eventually they started communicating with them and trading with them. And so they sort of saw them more as friends. But as time went on and they saw that more and more white people were coming, they were driving the Indians off their land. And the Indians were afraid that they would seize up all of their land and take it away. So therefore, our answer is, Native people saw the settlers as invaders taking their land. What is the best example of a cultural landscape? Well, we know that our three cultural landscapes are houses, barns, and places of worship. Houses, barns, and places of worship are cultural landscapes. So our best answer is C, barns. The arrival of European settlers changed the lives of American Indians by forcing them to and we already talked about this, that as more and more white settlers came, they forced the Indians to go further and further west as they took over their land. And so our answer to this question is to move inland. The next question says, the area of West Virginia became a state because we know that Prior to the Civil War, when Virginia decided to separate from the Union and join the Confederate States of America, the area of what is now West Virginia did not agree with them, and so they broke away and formed their own state. So therefore, the answer to this question is, its people opposed slavery. Which number marks the region where the first English settlement in Virginia was located? Well, we know that the first English settlement was Jamestown. And Jamestown was located right here in this area along the James River. We know that the people came over from England, came across the Atlantic Ocean, and landed right here at this first area of region of Virginia. And so, therefore, we know that the correct answer is the coastal plain, which is right here. So, therefore, our answer is 4, the coastal plain. Author of the Virginia Statute for Religious Freedom, served as governor during the Revolutionary War, served in the Continental Congress. Which Virginian is responsible for these contributions? 
we know that our answer has to be Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson wrote two very important documents. The first one being the Declaration of Independence, where they explained why they felt like they should have their own government and separate from England. And the second one was the Virginia Statute for Religious Freedom, which stated that all Virginians had the right to worship as they pleased. Which group's traditional homeland was located in the coastal plain tidewater region of Virginia. We must remember our song. Algonquian Tidewater Palatin. Algonquian Tidewater Palatin. So therefore we know that our answer is Palatin. Edmund says, I think we should stay loyal to the king. But Joshua says, I think we should form our own nation. Which statement about these two Virginians is probably true? You need to stop and think about the fact that they are saying, staying loyal to the king. Loyal to the king, forming our own nation, would let us know that this was during the Revolutionary War. And so therefore we know that the answer should be they took opposite sides in the American Revolution. One of them would have been a loyalist. The second one would have been a patriot. Anti-slavery meetings. Which group would most likely have supported this type of meeting? An anti-slavery meeting was one where people were against slavery. And so therefore we know that the answer should be abolitionists. Abolitionists were the ones who campaigned to end slavery. Which newspaper headline describes the result of the battle between the Merrimack and the Monitor? The Merrimack and the Monitor was the battle between the two ironclad ships. We remember that these ships had iron plates placed around them to protect them from enemy fire. And so therefore, when the two ships went against each other, the ammunition would just bounce off of each of the ships. So finally, after hours of going through this battle, they would eventually know that the struggle ended in a draw. No one won this battle. It was at a tie. Maintaining farms and plantations, providing labor for the military. During the Civil War, which group did this work for the Confederate States? We know that during the Civil War and before the Civil War, these people were used to do work for the people. And so therefore, the answer has to be enslaved African Americans. The last question for this section is going to be, which Virginia governor is known for the pay-as-you-go road improvement policy. We talked about that this person was known for three main things. Number one, massive resistance. Number two, pay as you go. Number three, modernizing state government. That person who did those three things was named Harry F. Byrd Sr. Once more, Harry F. Byrd Sr was known for three main things. Number one, massive resistance. Number two, pay as you go. Number three, modernizing state government. Thank you for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this review. We will come back to you later with part two.